Hello. So, today's Boxing Day. I was off Christmas Day, but I'm back at work for Boxing Day. So there's no tripod or anything, so I'm doing this one-handed. Um, I've just been outside in my dinner break to have a smoke of this baby. Peterson Christmas Pipe 2020 XL11 and uh, when I went out there I took a nice hot coffee and I thought oh, it's quite mild I sit outside because obviously you can't smoke indoors sit outside have a pot of coffee and a smoke but quickly got cold to the core uh, had me fingerless gloves and my hat on and by the time I got halfway through the coffee it had gone from a hot coffee to a, a cold freezing cold coffee so I've come back in now having finished my smoke as I say cold to the core so sitting by the radiator and uh, just wanted to show you a pipe that I had for Christmas. Oh, by the way, I'm just drawing out some Peterson Christmas Tobacco 2016 to smoke in my 999. I'll be doing that later on this evening. Um, but my daughter bought me a pipe from Cigars. They put in there, said, do you want a Christmas message? Which they just been put on this bit of paper. She got me some tobacco as well. I'll show you this. I thought, this would be nice. And it was all in a Christmassy mood, opening Christmas presents. And in typical European... Hold on, I've got to grab this with one finger pull it out. No, I won't. I'll just... It's so awkward doing this one hand without a tripod. So, out comes the tobacco. <laughs> in a nice Christmassy mood, people in America will be shocked at this. How Christmassy is that? Horrible, rancid foot there. Smoking. <laughs> Causes this disease, you know. In America, you'd probably just get a little sign saying Borken Rift Bronze and a little thing saying this product contains nicotine, is damaging to your health. But in uh, Europe, they really like to rule by fear. If they want you to do anything, they do it by telling you, you're going to die, it's the end of the world, you're going to get this, you're going to get that. All done by fear, controlled by fear, that's what it's about. Anyway, let's not get political or... So this is the pipe. Again, tricky, one-handed. You'll have to bear with me, I'm afraid. Do you know, I tried doing this one-handed before I turned the camera on and it worked fine, but of course now... So let me tell you a little bit about it before I manage to easy to open um, we saw a Peterson or I found Peterson St. Patrick's Day pipes um, 2021 and I thought hey I've actually found some and it was on the James Fox of London site and they had all these different uh, pipes with the beautiful green stems and uh, I thought I've actually found some because nowhere else has them, they all ran out. And so I sent a link, and apparently my daughter ordered it, paid for it, and then about five days later they got in touch and said, Oh, actually, we haven't got any. Um, we don't know what's happened. The website or says that they've so says that they're available, all these different models, and we've actually not got any 
So that was a complete mess up. So I believe they re refunded her money. My daughter told me she wasn't able to get one. I wasn't sure she was joking, not trying, you know, trying not to spoil any surprise. Um, so I sent a link to another pipe, another Peterson, St. Patrick's Day pipe that I've had on a, a watch list with cigars um, for over 12 months. But oh, never got round to getting it, even though it's this very model. So this was the previous year's St. Patrick's Day pipe, which I never got at the time. So this is the 2020. It's a 221. It's filter. But uh, that one's a filter. And I just stuck a filter in and I enjoyed it, but it's not normally my thing. But with cigars it's a bit like smoking pipes.com you can you see the pipe that you'll actually get and i chose this one because of the color well they're all green but i mean some shades are different to others the lovely um way it's been sandblasted showing that feature which i like which is i describe as being like a seashell coming round to the what I call moon rock <laughs> and then it's a bit darker on this side but they'll all darken a bit anyway patina as you use them so and it's it's very light it's not as heavy as I recall I mean two two ones aren't particularly heavy anyway but this seems to be it's like it's made out of cardboard or something it's that light but uh, it is a nice, decent briar. As I say, army stem, which um, if I do this one-handed, that briar is going to fly across the room, isn't it? <laughs> there, I've done it. So yeah, filter. I bought a load of Peterson filters because I've got that many filter pipes now because the choice is limited. Um, oh, I looked on my smoking shop EU and one of the things most commonly bought, that I'd most commonly bought from there was little filter adapters that you put in a filter pipe, little plastic adapter you put in so that you don't need a filter. And I noticed a review by some chap, um, the one review of them, and he said, these are useless, it doesn't fit in my Petersons, doesn't fit in my Savinelli's, doesn't fit in this, doesn't fit in that. Complete waste of money. I think they're only like one ninety nine or something. And I thought, God, for one ninety nine, dude, all you got to do is just get a bit of sandpaper and just sand them down, which is what I generally do. Just get the plastic filter. Um, just go around it with sandpaper lightly until it, it, it gets to a nice fit but as I say I haven't, uh, I haven't got one for this but when I use it I'll dry out some of that Balkan Riff give it its first go and then uh, smoke it with a filter until I get me a little adapter for it. So I'm going to put this video out, put it out straight away. Um, but I should mention, I have got two more Peterson St. Patrick State pipes, which I haven't shown on video yet. Um, the video has just been on, the video has just been on private for a while. So I'm going to, release those videos, publish them. Um, and when the first one comes up, because I'd forgotten about it and I looked at it, and it's a video I made when I hadn't made any videos for a long time. So the next video I release will probably be about a Peterson St. Patrick's Day pipe, which I managed to get. 
and it'll start out with me saying I know I haven't made a video for a long time I don't really make videos anymore so if you watch that and you're scratching your head thinking yeah you, you've made quite a few just lately that's the reason why because it's an old video so I'm really pleased with that what a great Christmas present and I'm one step closer to <laughs> catching up with my St Patrick's Day pipes which I sort of neglected over the last couple of three or four years or whatever so yeah I love it and uh, I think that's all I've got to say now I'll have another hot coffee warm up a bit and a little snack before I get back to work thank you very much for watching take care everybody and bye bye